Hey everybody, this is Tyson with ATHL for Life. Uh, just wanted to share a couple of things with you regarding extend mirror stuff. Um, what I'm going to be doing after I get my gas vaporizer done is I am going to be um, working on running a car off of water just like Stan did. And I really do believe that he did. There's a lot of people that are skeptical about it, they don't believe it. Um, I, for one, do believe it, and I know that it's a possible thing. Um, people are just too stinking hard headed and can't get it through their head that things are possible um, that have said to be impossible. And there's proof all around us today um, of just different things that people have been doing that prove the, the different theories that people have had wrong. Um, so I want to go through a different a couple of different things. And these are key elements to stand there and uh, what makes the systems work. And I'm going to develop a system similar to it. It's not going to, I'm not going to replicate everything that he does exactly because it's not, you don't have to get exactly everything that Stan, you don't have to do exactly everything that Stan did in the way that he did it in order to have the same type of results. Um, it's the concepts that matter, not necessarily replicating it exactly. Um, and I've done literally hundreds and hundreds of hours of research on Stan Mayer's stuff, reading his documents, um, learning from people and stuff like that. And these are a few important things that you guys should know um, and things that I'm going to do to uh, um, replicate the concepts. It's not going to be identical. My design is going to be a little bit different. And then I'll explain a few things regarding Stan's car and how um, it ran on water and uh, just to give you guys an idea and a more open mind as to how we may have done it. Um, but this right here, this is his voltage intensifier circuit and this is one that you don't see very often but it shows it in more detail and, I'm, and this is the one that's related to his uh, water fuel injector. Um, so it's a square wave and you have your primary coil and your secondary coil and then linked to that you'll have your charging chokes um, and this right here um, you have resistors in there as well and then over here is where you have the actual um, water cell which this is going to be the spark plug itself this right here is a resistor that represents the dielectric of the water which is the resistance of the water um, and that's important to note because the resistance of the water um, definitely has to be calculated in to the total resistance of the whole circuit. So that's an important circuit. You need all those re the resistive um, elements to it to make it work right. Okay, next I want to show you this right here is also another picture that um, isn't as well known and people don't give reference to it very often and I think this is one of the keys to his uh, step charging effect that he was able to achieve and basically what you have here is you have a switching um, a voltage sorry I can't see very well so I have to get really close it's a voltage switcher selector switch switch off selector switch so that right there allows you to change between the different voltage zones and what he has is he has his primary coil here and the secondary coil right here um, and just the concept so you guys know basically what he's done is he's ran a secondary coil and on points of the coil he basically uh, teed it off and has a lead and, and puts a lead wire um, in the middle of his winding of a secondary coil and connects that to let's say a selector switch I don't believe that's how he did it but I'll explain how I believe it's you can um, use the same concept as what he has here and so basically there's different connection points which would pull different voltages on off the secondary coil so let's say it would be 12 volts here um, and then 24 and then 48 it's gonna be a lot higher voltage than that Stan actually states in his work multiple times that the voltage range is up to 20,000 volts and then there's another area um, in his 
book The Birth of a New Technology, which is where these came from, um, where he states that the voltage can even go between 20,000 to 90,000 volts and beyond. Um, and that's important to note because I believe that that is the case. The higher the voltage, the less amperage it takes, and then the more magnetic pole it puts on the uh, the the water molecule because it's uh, it's voltage pressure is what it's doing. So, um, so I believe this is how I am going to do my coil, <coughs> my voltage intensifier circuit. I'm going to have my primary coil just as standard, okay, and then my secondary coil, and I'm still going to have all of the um, LC circuits, I think is what they call this. Well, anyway, it's just a choke. That's his charging chokes and his resistors um, and stuff, so I'm still going to have all that in there. But on the secondary winding, I'm going to do it similar to this. So I'm going to wrap some winds around, and then... Um, in the middle, or part way through the wind, like a quarter of the way through the wind, I'm going to tee the wire into the wire and take a lead wire off. Um, and then I'm going to connect it into a, uh, basically, um, a connection point that's connected to the, uh, <clears throat> the chokes and stuff. But, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have three different voltage zones is what I'm going to have. So it starts with a low, lower voltage and as the electricity flows through the coil it'll hit the different voltage zones. Um, so it'll start out at a lower voltage and then go to medium voltage and then go to high voltage. And it does it within an instance of a time pretty much because of how fast electricity flows. Um, so it's still, it's going to, what that's going to do is it's going to do this going to create a step charging effect. Um, what you can see here is the different voltages. There's a lower voltage, then a medium voltage, and a high voltage, and then it cuts off, and then a low, medium, and high. And that is the key to Stan's um, effect that he got to make it so that he could efficiently split the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. Um, what he s says and talks about in, with this effect is the lower voltages, they weaken the bond between the water molecule and as you increase the voltage that basically pulls them apart and forces them apart. And by having it start out at a lower voltage first and then work its way up, it's, uh, it's like a stretching effect of a rubber band. You start out with a smaller force, and then as you pull more, your force has to get stronger to overcome the elasticity of the rubber band until it finally snaps. It works the same way with this circuit, or, or with uh, the way that he uh, he did that with the step charging effect. So, people, I've seen them on their, solis, um, what is it, a oscilloscope. They've tried to replicate the step charging effect, but haven't had very good success because they don't understand that he has multiple voltage zones, just as he shows right here. It's not just a single voltage zone. And he, and Stan indicates this in a lot of his work in the book, His Birth of a New Technology, and people haven't paid much attention to it. And I think that they really need to because it is coming from different voltages. It's not all coming from one <clears throat> in voltage intensifier circuit off of one secondary coil with just one lead. Um, one voltage. It's not just that. There's multiple voltages. <clears throat> so, um, that's just something important that I thought think you guys need to know. <clears throat> and I can back all this up by the different materials that are in his book. You guys can read it for yourselves and figure that out. Um, I I don't need to go through his whole book and say this is exactly where it was. You'll find where it is when you read his book. Okay, so next, this right here is his water fuel injector. And you can get all of this information off of um, Russ Reese's website at rwgresearch.com. There's a uh, area in there where you can download all the materials um, that he has received uh, in relation to Stan Mare's stuff. So, <clears throat> I'm going to build 
I actually uh, kind of have built a uh, an adapter that connects to my fuel injectors and my fuel injectors are gonna spray water through um, instead of gas but I'm gonna build a, an adapter <clears throat> that connects between the, the the fuel injector and my engine block um, that is going to do exactly as Stan had, has been doing here and basically what this is this the, his design was a spark plug injector so it was a spark plug along with an injector but the technologies are so much different nowadays with all the computerized parts of a car and components of a car and stuff that this isn't necessary the reason that he was doing an injector, a spark plug injector, is so that he doesn't have to make all kinds of different designs to meet the needs of different vehicles. By making a spark plug injector, the threads on spark plugs, where the spark plugs screw into the vehicle, are pretty much the same on all cars. And so by making it like his design like this, he was able to make something that would be able to be fit into every car. Um, that's why he did it like this. Now, what I'm going to do is use my current existing system, all computerized like it is, and I'm going to just make adapters that go to my fuel injectors. And on the adapters, what I'm going to have is the same principle here. I'm going to have my positive and negative voltages, and then I'm going to have a cavity that the water is sprayed into passing through that the, the high voltage zone. <clears throat> and it's a high voltage um, intensity zone, so the intensity of the voltages will in, within an instant of a time increase from a lower to a higher to fracture the water so that's what I'm going to have um, something similar to that that sprays directly into my engine block and uh, <clears throat> this is kind of how Stan shows what he's done he's got his different cavities and they're at I believe one ten thousandths of an inch um, as far as the gap between it you can be have gaps bigger than that um, I believe up to about 20 to 30 thousandths of an inch um, and still quench the uh, the gases so there's no flame able to occur in that zone um, and it can ignite until it's released out of that that quenching zone so that's what I'm going to be doing I'll test different types of cavities um, as far as different uh, widths of the cavity so to see which one will work best with my adapter that I've designed. Um, so, <clears throat> this right here, another key step to Stan's work is um, this is basically the voltage field and what he's showing here is that it's a constant effect through this cavity right here in between the positive and negative plate. But as it goes through this tapered zone, um, it, it acts as what he calls a uh, an electrical compression effect which makes complete sense because you start out with a, a thicker piece of let's say round stock here and then it tapers down well this outer tube right here also tapers down along with it and what that does is when the voltage travels through this field as it goes through this taper it compresses the electricity which also helps um, it acts as a, an amplifier so a voltage or resonant amplifier and it amplifies all that so by the time the water reaches this point right here at the tip it's compressed in that in that electrical compression zone and the water molecule is forced apart by the time it reaches that because of the compression that is part of it it, it amplifies everything um, so those are some key important steps that I believe everybody needs to know and be aware of and although people may not agree with me, um, from I've done a lot of research and from, from what I've been able to understand from it, that's what he's doing. And those are some things that people have been missing. Um, so I'll do a couple more videos of different things and different ideas that I've had and different things that I'm gonna be working on when I do that. Um, so I hope this helps you guys understand um, a little bit more about Stan's work and what he did to be able to achieve running a car on water. So. Um, share your ideas, your thoughts, comments, all that kind of stuff. Um, subscribe and uh, share this information because it's something that people need to know. Alright guys, peace out. Have fun, be safe. Tyson with HHO for life.